Was it all a scam? The entire campaign was predicated on a lie. Prosecutors Let's say they were all in on it. The couple who famously raised $400,000 on GoFundMe and the homeless veteran they claimed to be helping. Well, that's just depressing. Yeah. Getting more and more unbelievable. Here's Les Trent. This is the off-ramp where Kate McClure says she ran out of gas and the homeless vet came to her rescue. Johnny Bobbitt was reportedly living under this overpass in Philadelphia. Bobbitt supposedly gave her his last $20. The GoFundMe campaign captured America's heart. Kate McClure and her boyfriend Mark D'Amico posted video of the touching moment they told Bobbitt how much money they had raised for him. That changes my life right there. But it was all lies, according to prosecutors. They say Kate McClure never ran out of gas. Bobbitt never gave her $20. All three knew each other. They met at the Sugar House Casino in Philadelphia a month before launching the alleged scam. Now, all three have been arrested and charged with conspiracy and theft by deception. Less than an hour after their GoFundMe page went live, McClure, in a text exchange with a friend, stated that the story about Bobbitt assisting her was fake. Specifically, she wrote, Okay, so wait, the gas part is completely made up, but the guy isn't. I had to make something up to make people feel bad. The alleged scam began to unravel when Bobbitt turned on McClure and D'Amico and claimed they were enjoying expensive vacations while he was getting by on handouts. Where's the money? Mark, what happened to the money? The couple defended themselves oh so convincingly on Megyn Kelly's now canceled show. We know that we did a good thing and I still believe that we did a good thing and I would do it all over again. I would do it all over again for him. This Beamer, just one of the big ticket items allegedly bought with those GoFundMe contributions, has been confiscated. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, charity experts said the Go Scam Me scandal should not dissuade you from giving to the needy as long as you're smart about it. You should be very cautious of giving to people you don't know in a crowdfunding site. Not to say you shouldn't give, but make sure you know something about these people.